Another item that I want to, want to touch base with tonight, and I, I think I want to have it on, on the agenda for a little while, and that's our health information technology uh, system. Uh, we we uh, we purchased CPSI in April April the first of, of 2011, and that's when all the the, uh, the the government money was available. And I think that all hospitals, certainly including us, the uh, the biggest priority was to select a select a serviceable uh, electronic health record that would uh, that would allow us to access the government money. And we did that. You know, we did that. We were one of the one of the first hospitals to receive the uh, the uh, the MU money last year. The first uh, the first of last fiscal year, we, we sort of as a, as a as a management team said, okay, let's let's like do like a lot of other hospitals. Let's take a look at what at what CPSI is providing us, and let's look at what we think our long term needs and what system we need to meet those needs for the long term rather than just trying to qualify for the for the dollars. A lot of hospitals are doing that. Uh, the first step that we took on that is we, we, we asked a CPSI, or I think they're in vision now. Oh, yeah, no, CPSI, we still call that. Evident. Yeah, evident, yeah. We asked them to come down and do an analysis of where we are with with CPSI and what, we, what the utilization of it is and what they thought the potential was for us to increase our utilization of our electronic health record. They did that, and their estimate is that we're using it about a, to about 70% efficiency, that if we, uh, if we used it to its fullest potential, we could increase the, the utilization of, a, of that by 30%. So that was CBSI. We also, we tried to look at Cerner. Cerner has, a, they're, a, they're a big company, they have, they have an interesting uh, product. The, the problem with Cerner, to make it affordable, you have to partner with another, several other hospitals of your size, and there's really no individual uh, customization to it at all. So we looked at that, uh, didn't, didn't think it was, it was what we needed. We, uh, uh, we looked at one other, we looked at Athena. Athena was coming out with a, uh, with a hospital product. We looked at that. and. Uh, and, I, and that that has not worked out very well for uh, you know for, for Athena. They're excellent physician uh, uh, electronic health record, but not so much on the hospital side. And then we looked at MedHost. And MedHost, uh, we we looked at a long time. Uh, they came down and they did probably three separate demos. Uh, some of our employees went to uh, went to their uh, their uh, their home office to look at their, their product. We also went to one of the uh, Texas hospitals and looked at it. We negotiated with them for a long time, and we got them down to where there was no installation fee, I mean, where, where they waived all the installation fees. Uh, and it came down to, I think, us trying to make a choice between CPSI and them, and I, I guess we decided to stay with CPSI primarily because CPSI is moving to a cloud-based system similar to what Athena has, and MedHost had no interest in doing that, and, that, and they, they were honest about that. That's not where they're going from a technology standpoint. So, so we we agreed we agreed that we would uh, that we would stay with CPSI. We think that's probably a you know a longer term you know solution for us. And as a result of that, that's kind of our project for this year. You know, is to see if we can can increase the utilization of C, of uh, CPSI. To, to significantly reduce that 30% underutilization <coughs> that we've got on that. So, uh, so that's been a significant project for us. Uh, you know, we, we think and hope that we made the uh, made the right decision. I, I think when it got down to uh, when it got down to Meadows, there's a lot of things that we're, we really liked about it. But uh, you know, it's a decision that we talked about, and uh, and, and we made our decision to stay with CPSI, even even though even though I'd give Meadows credit, they were very aggressive in their pricing. CPSI is still less expensive, you know, to us on, on, in the, on an annual basis. But uh, it was an it was an interesting, more than exercise, it was an interesting project. Ray, I remember a few months ago, Michael, you were having trouble with the coding system from CPSI. It was antiquated or something. Well, we we're having that was during the lab outsource, and it was the volume. But now our volume's gone down, so that's not that hasn't been an issue since. And we we made some some adjustments that have helped <coughs> help that issue at that time. So currently, there's nothing that's a problem. 
Anyway, I, I, I want to, I'll continue to refer to that just a little bit, kind of keep this. It's a significant project for us, and, uh, and it's a significant investment for the hospital that the electronic health record is. And uh, uh, we, we, we think there's opportunities for us to improve our efficiency, make it, uh, make it more friendly for the physicians, and make it more friendly for, uh, you know, for the clinical staff, and also on the business office staff. Report, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Any other questions or comments for the board concerning that item? 